What's up guys, Atom Bacon here. Welcome back to more Akiba's trip. In the last episode, we cleared out a few more side quests. Nothing particularly interesting. And uh, actually, no, I think we did progress the story a little bit. Learn we learned that Shizuku and Rin are 10 times older than we thought they were. Let's just say that. Rin is about 150 and Shizuku is about 170. Yeah, they certainly don't look old, do they? <laughs> and we learned a bit more about their background and Soka's background and all that. Anyway, in this episode, we got a few more uh, side quests to go through. And Electric Town Plaza. I couldn't remember who, or I couldn't remember if any of the side quests I had to do take me to Akiba Park, so I paired up with Rin just in case. I was going to pair up with Toko, but for some reason Rin and Shizuku were the only people there. So, mm -hmm. by a process of elimination, I'm with Rin. Alright, now, who is the person I'm looking for? office oh right 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 okay i remember now when i said that you wanted to have the uh, light blue maid's dress and maid skirt this is the mission it's for so i talk, talk to this girl and she wants light blue stuff i already have it all so i'm gonna hand it over i said if you don't have it you can go to the side streets it's the easiest place to get it Super quick, out of the way, barely into this episode, already got that side quest done. Because I was smart and planned ahead of time. Challenge the Dark Black Knight. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe this one actually sees you go to a, yeah, UD plus. Okay. This one's pretty straightforward, it's just a duel. Nothing particularly difficult. I think he spawned around here. Interesting. Yep, yeah, there he is. Wyvern Master. You're braver than I expected. And now this place shall be your grave. Mwah. Perish in the flames of darkness. And never bother me again. I do not have Rin's... Uh, Thingy my mom up. Thingy my mom, yeah. Unison. That's one that's what I'm looking for. I do not have her unison up. That guy wants to get on the fight. Fine by me, it's more more time to build up my special or my strip. U unison! I can talk. Unison strip is the proper term, so. There we go. Oh what? I didn't have her bottom half? Oh. Thought I did. Not a lot you need for that, but I'm just gonna keep fighting until I build up Rin's uh, unison strip. So I'll meet you guys when I'm done. Right, she just got comboed. You take her, I got this guy. Alright, we got it, we're out. Abort! 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 You saw nothing, officer. No? I still want to see if... I have anything... decent enough. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to give her the headdress, so it's at least something extra that she has. Uh, nothing particularly strong there. Okay. Um, well, like I said, we're going to head off to the arena now. Hopefully this goes a little smoother than last time. And actually, what, do I write? What do I have for weapons? Nothing. Okay. Nothing that good. 
I was just thinking if I had a better weapon I could give to Rin, but it doesn't seem like I do. Just in case tragedy strikes. Yeah, I'm hunting for a battle. Current rank is S. Kupio Taku versus the, unca the uncaring bears. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. Um, that's gonna take some strength. Like, Minashi is kind of impressive, actually, at times like that. But, um, Peach Helmet. One thing I'd like to bring up at this uh, point, this this point being, uh, this point. <laughs> okay, that looks really funny. By this point in the story, Basically, after you've defeated Xenia at the arena for the final time, holy shit! Did you see that? Rin, be careful. There we go. My goodness, that was that was slaughter. But yeah, um, once you've defeated Xenia at the arena, that's kind of when the story starts to diverge. In that's when the story will then split into its different routes. <laughs> oh, up to that point, the story will play out mostly the same. But once you have defeated Xenia at the arena, the events from here on out will change depending on what story route you're on. Ah. Now, I need to focus on the battle. Because I do not want to repeat of what happened last time. Or some other time ago. Oh, that was close. There we go. I'm gonna try to take the pink one out just to do the one that's already taken the damage. There we go. And she's out. Oh, nice. Ow. You gotta admit, these guys show some spirit at the very least, dressing up like this. Um, actually, you know what that kind of reminds me of? My school has, um, around, during your, around October, has a volleyball tournament. It's free to enter and open to all grades, 8 through, ten, uh, eight through 12. And I remember a couple of years ago, there was this team that was, uh, it was a grade 12, it was all grade 12, but the teams can be any group. You'll find that oftentimes teams are grade specific, like everyone in the team will be one grade, but that's not a requirement, that just tends to happen because people feel comfortable clumping in the grades they're in. Uh, next up, Great Nation of Japan. But, um... I remember, uh, I think it was my grade 9 year, or it might have been grade 10. No, no, it wasn't grade 10. What was that? Oh, I don't remember. 
Anyway, there was this one year, it was either last year or the year before that, there was a grade 12 exclusive team. I see, yeah. It, it would have been um, last year. Because I think I, I remember some people that were on it that are one grade ahead of me. No, uh, two grades ahead of me, sorry. And I'm grade 11 now, so if they were grade 12, that would have been last year. Anyway. <laughs> The, I'm getting it off topic. The point is, it was an all grade 12 team, and their team name, because like obviously everyone gets like a team name and stuff, was Dressed to Kill. And for every game, they'd all show up wearing like fancy suits. It was really cool. And just because like they'd always they'd play like dressed super cat, uh, like not casually, sorry, they dress. Whoa, that, what that? That is quite the bra she's wearing. <laughs> Yeah, they'd, they'd play dodgeball dressed all formally. It was really cool. <laughs> okay, I need to get the hell out of dodge and heal. Rin, you can go offensive for a sec to distract them. Nice. All right, careful. i try to get these two who only have their helmets and stuff left. Trying to be really careful with like, like I want Rin to be helpful, but I also don't want her to die. Because, well, I mean, I guess that include. I mean, I guess her not dying does constitute her being helpful. I might have leveled up. Ah, she's not dead. All of them are down to nothing but their headgear. <laughs> There we go. Got that one. I think I activated that in the middle of her getting stripped. Like, in the middle of Rin getting stripped, I activated that. Um. Oh, crap. Okay, well. Oh, she still has her pants. <laughs> well, the, I may have lost my pants, but I was able to save Rin, so. Honestly. I don't think my skirt got destroyed, so I should get it back there anytime. Just a matter of defeating the one who took it. There we go, got it back. Look who it is! Occupus Squad Strip Rhythm. And two other cosplayers. I don't really know who they are, honestly. Take out pink. I guess I'm focusing pink rhythm first. <laughs> well. <laughs> I gotta put in brackets allegedly. That, that. Not a lot of coverage there, lady. Holy mother of God.
Yay, Ambrose and didn't attack me right. I don't remember. I'm not good at remembering their actual character names, so I just call them Pinkrism, Sapphism, and Ambrism. Um, let's take this guy. Oof. Ren could use with some help there. Okay, good. Ren got healed. How? Oh, that guy, he's using the same weapon as me. Wait, ah, oh, crap. Rin lost her shirt. No! No! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, well, this is the third and final round, so shouldn't be too bad, but ah, oh, god. Wow. Hardly even looked like she was wearing panties. Take Amberism. Also, I really should just try to finish off Synchrism. There we go, Synchrism's down. You lot no crap. Leave me alone. I oh no 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 you don't. You don't leave me alone. Oh my god, did I just I died. Fuck <laughs> How how fitting that the one time I actually remember to save before doing this is the one time I needed to. Better than needing it the one time I forget. <laughs> that didn't go so well. I'll meet you guys back at the third round. I want a rematch. Okay, so I'm back at the third round. Rin's in fine shape. I'm gonna prioritize this guy because of the weapon he has. I don't want to deal with that bat. The knockback from his bat is going to be very annoying. So. Going on Bruce Lee there. He's staying in the middle of them. That's the problem. There we go. Okay, Rin, can you like... Oh, fuck. Okay, Rin, be careful, be careful. Now, I, I did something a moment ago there that I want to try to see if I can recreate. No, it doesn't look like I can. Rin, be careful. Don't fight, just don't die. I need you. God, that guy's annoying. Yes. 
Jesus! Okay, two seconds. Oh my god, the guy at the bat just taking damage. There we go. I mean, I get that this is the final round, but give me a rest, will you? Come on. Yes! Okay, we got him with this again. You really gotta be something special to survive, to have to be targeted by two of these. Come on, please let this finish him off. It didn't finish him. He, sur he survived. He doesn't even get stunned! Don't Freaking hit you! Not who I thought I was gonna target with that, but okay. Damage is damage. Wait, what? Did he just. Did he just run away? He ran away! I took off nothing but his mask and. Okay. I'm not gonna question that. That would explain why I couldn't hit him with anything. <laughs> okay, well, big bad black bats out of the way, so I can just focus on... Honestly, I'm going to target Cat Lady next, because that clawing attack is hella scary. And then I'll worry about strip rhythm last. Although, you know, when they're right here. Ah! off staffism here. <laughs> Alright, Saffrism's out. Now I'm gonna turn my attention to this check because she's scary. Nice. Is she gonna be she is. <laughs> Rin's in a bit of trouble, so I'm gonna save her. Pinkrism. <laughs> Take that. Pinkrism's down, and all that's left is Amberism. Ow. Jeez. That. She's down. <laughs> we are now the supreme ruler of the Akiba Arena. <laughs> and on that note, I think we're going to end this episode off here. See you guys next time. <laughs>